this is the newest box that supposedly is officially Google certified and this is distributed by Walmart and they just got them in stock I picked it up today now this one is called a jet stream and it's made by Igmatic designed by Igmatic in California they make a lot of set-top boxes so uh, but it's called Jet Stream. It's 4K. It's supposed to have a, uh, a voice remote. Uh, now, nowhere on here does it say Chromecast, uh, anything like that. And there's not a lot of information available on the internet. So this was like buying a pig in a poke. Again, I purchased it from uh, Walmart. So there's certain things that I need. Uh, this one was $69. Now the new Xiaomi Mi Box that will be hitting in probably a few days at Walmart. Now that is also a Google certified box, but it's $10 cheaper than this one. But this one has a um, micro SD card slot for expanded storage. It also has a Ethernet port, which the other one does not have. This one has two USB 2 ports, which the uh, the new Xiaomi Mi box only has one USB port and no Ethernet port. But again, it's, uh, this is a $10 more premium for this box. So what I need to find out is one, if this one is actually has Chromecast built in, which there's nothing on the front that says that. But it does say right here, uh, with Chromecast built in, you can enjoy your phones, movies, etc. from your Android and iOS devices so it does on the side say that it does support um, Chromecast another thing that uh, this one also says it supports HD audio high definition audio uh, some of the other boxes did not and there again I'm not sure the new Xiaomi Mi box will support HD audio I know the original one did not which I've got that one it does not support HD audio so I'll find out if this one does also it does not tell me if I get Netflix in 4k so I will find that out. So those are the criteria I need. Chromecasting, HD audio, and uh, I want to get Netflix in 4K. So if you've got a 4K Ultra HD TV, uh, then hopefully this will work. If not, this is going back because it's a $10 premium over the new Xiaomi Me. So we'll find out. So let me go ahead and open it up. If I can figure out how to open it up. Okay, here's the box. Empty. Now here's the device. Okay, now it's fairly heavy, which is good. A lot of your Chinese boxes you get, they're very light. So this one's got a little more weight to it. Uh, it's got an AV port. So if you have the old style TV you can use, that don't have the HDMI, you can use that. There's an Ethernet port. HDMI port. Now hopefully it's HDMI 2.2. If it's not, then you don't get uh, 4K. So hopefully it's 2.2. And here's your SPDI, SPDIF. That's for uh, AV receivers that uh, use the uh, uh, fiber optic uh, input. And here is your power, which is 5 volt, 2 amp. It's pretty standard. Now this uses a, a Amlogic S905X, which is probably, I say, almost two year old. Uh, system on a chip so this is not new technology now I do have a box that should be shipping today from China that uses the Amlogic S905 X2 now that is the brand new SOC that just came out so this one about a two-year-old uh, hardware so we'll find out how it works so again uh, that's all things on the back here's your two USB ports and there's your micro SD card slot so there's the box. Here's a remote. Now this looks and feels just like my other remotes that come with my Mi Cool devices. And I'm thinking it's a Bluetooth, which it should be. You've got a dedicated, uh, you got a dedicated uh, Netflix button. You've got a, net, uh, a YouTube button and a Google Play button. So I'm hoping that I can reprogram this something else because I don't use Google Play. 
Uh, now the voice part is right up here at the top. So there's your, uh, to bring up uh, Google Assistant. Uh, power button. Now I don't know if it turns it off or puts it into standby. I usually leave my devices run 24-7. I don't turn them off. And there is your home button, your information button, and your return button. So, and your volume button. So that should be a good remote. It feels comfortable. Uh, it's a little slicker than I would like. I prefer some kind of a texture so you don't drop it as much. They even provided uh, batteries for the remote. There's a $10 item right there. So that's why this would cost $10 more than the Xiaomi because they give you two batteries for it. Now here's the power supply. Again, it's pretty standard. Uh, I'm assuming it's a 5 volt, 2 amp, which it should say here, but I can't read it. Uh, and there's the plug for it. So it's a 5 volt, 2 amp, same thing all the other devices use. They even included a uh, HDMI cable, which I won't use. Don't know if it looks okay. It's skinny, but uh, I won't use it. So that's all we got. So I'm going to go in there and uh, oh, here's the things you get. Sling. Now one thing that I guess it does not have natively is the Amazon Prime. I do not subscribe to it. So uh, I don't know. I cannot test that. But it does not come with Amazon Prime from what I've read. And here is the manual jet stream. Again, this device is designed in California. The Amlogic SOC, System on Chip, those are also designed in California. They're designed in California and then they're built in China, just as any other product, Apple or anybody else. So, all right, I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, here's first power up, jet stream. Again, I will be looking to see if it is Google certified, has Chromecast built in. Also, I need to know what the HDCP level is. Is it HDC 2.2, which would give me Netflix in 4K. So that's what I'll be looking for. Also, it says that it has audio and HD. I will be testing that. So I'll be running Cody with my uh, Blu-ray uh, movies and see if it does indeed have uh, HD audio natively. So we'll find out. Okay, let me go ahead and pair it, and I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take long at all to pair. I just held down the uh, OK button and the minus on the volume, and held it for about two or three seconds that it paired, so it's quick. We'll try this. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll pair it and see what we got. Okay, that went reasonably well. Using my Android phone, I was able to pair it. I will not be using my uh, phone. Now, some of these Bluetooth remotes, it looks exactly like this one. both a combination uh, Bluetooth and IR, infrared. So I'm not sure if this one is a combo or not, but it looks just like the other remotes that I've got. Okay, I don't want Voodoo. I guess I cannot uncheck those. So those may not be uninstallable. All right, we're going to install those. Again, this should be running Android Oreo 8.1. And some of these devices, you're not able to uninstall some of the apps, system apps, which I do not like. I like to be able to uninstall the ones I do not use, so uh, we will find out. 
Again, this is a brand new device that uh, Walmart just, I guess they're an exclusive distributor. I can't swear to that, but I think they are. And they just got them in stock. Well, they got them in stock uh, probably in California a couple days ago, but they finally got in stock in my area today. So I went and picked one up. I have a new box coming from China, which is $10 less, but it's got 4 gig of memory where this one's got 2. The other one's got 32 gig of ROM, which this, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, ROM, you know, and this one has only got uh, 8 gig, 8 gig of memory storage. So, all right, uh, matter of fact, let's see what apps they've got natively. Google Play, uh, ESPN. So I guess you have to add these. I'm hoping you have to add them because I don't want them on there. So we'll find out. Okay, let's go back and go to settings up here. See what we've got. Google Cast. Supposedly it's natively uh, native casting. Uh, sound. System sounds. Surround sound. We want uh, HDMI audio, correct? Uh, apps. Uh, that's what I'm afraid of. See, there's nothing up here. All those apps, Netflix, YouTube, whatever, should be right there, okay? But they're not. So now they're system apps. So if I go down here, start looking for them. Google Play, Google Play. These I cannot uninstall. Netflix, that particular one, I cannot uninstall it because it's now a system app. Luckily, they didn't add a bunch of those other crappy ones that I don't want. And again, YouTube is a system app, so I cannot swap it for a different version so I'm stuck with that so all right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and set it up with my uh, apps that I use and then I will come back okay I got most of my apps installed so let's go ahead and test them the first thing now I'm connecting connecting via uh, Wi-Fi I disconnected my Ethernet so I'm connected at 5G on the Wi-Fi so what we're going to test is Netflix. Now it's Ultra HD 4K. Bitrate 8,000 kilobytes per second. Now it should go up to about 16,000. Now that, is, that will make it true Ultra HD or 4K. And I am displaying this on my 65 inch Samsung 4K TV, Ultra HD. All right, I'm at 16,000, so that's the max it will go. So, using Wi-Fi, it works great, okay? Now, uh, one thing I also wanted to check, it says on the box, it said it would give me... Uh, This device supports Dolby Audio, high definition audio. Okay, HD audio. It gives me DTS and D, uh, uh, Dolby Digital, but it does not play, um, it does not play in um, uh, HD. It plays in Dolby. Dolby Digital, but does not play in uh, HD. So I can only uh, show this for just a fraction of a second. Okay, it's DTS. Okay, I got DTS. I did not get HD audio. Uh, so that's shortcoming on that one.
Okay, system, system manufacturer, SDMC, and it's a model Jetstream stream, AGT418, brand Ematic, board device, and it's AmLogic. CPU, now this is running in 32-bit uh, mode, it's a 64-bit uh, SOC, but it's only running 32-bit, which is probably good because 64-bit is a lot of problems, a lot of problems. Okay, where is the other one? Uh, the arm info. Okay, now this is the one that gives you um, Okay, right there. Wide Vine CDM uh, Security Level L1 HDCP 2.2 now that is one that allows uh, Netflix to play in uh, 4K. So that's what that is. Uh, uh, supposedly it will support um, uh, Amazon, Amazon Prime videos, but you have to sideload the app. Uh, and I'm, somebody said that it does work. I don't know because I don't subscribe to it. So I, I cannot check that. Uh, every else, everything else seems to play fine. I used my, tel uh, my cell phone and I was able to uh, cast some uh, a movie from my phone using Netflix to this box. So I don't know if that's a guaranteed that is a Chromecast or not. I don't know. Uh, now one thing that I also that I want to show you, uh, when I'm playing a video, uh, it does not, using coding, it does not give me uh, frame rate change on my TV. In other words, instead of showing 64, uh, 24 frames per second, it only shows 60 frames per second. So it does not change that. Also, this does not have a, um, a it's got a locked bootloader. I cannot boot into uh recovery menu to run Libre or anything like that. So I used uh, um, Okay, now I typed reboot update Okay, now I go to Permission denied. So in other words, I cannot get into the recovery menu, uh, so I cannot install Libre uh, or Core, Core ELXC, so I cannot dual boot this box because it's got a locked bootloader. So that's what I want to show you there. So uh, the 4K, that works. The casting, I'm pretty sure works. Uh, Dolby Digital and DTS works, but it says that I'm supposed to get high, high definition audio, but it does not give me high definition audio. So, uh, is it worth the uh, uh, $10 premium over the new Xiaomi Mi Box that uh, uh, just came out? Uh, matter of fact, they should have it in another few more days at, at uh, Walmart. Uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, like I said, this one is $10 more, but you've got an Ethernet port and you've got two USB 2 ports, which the uh, Xiaomi does not have any Ethernet and it's only got one USB 2 port. So uh, the Wi Fi works good on this. Uh, probably don't even need Ethernet. Uh, so that's about all I can tell you. Now I'll show you a sample of some of these uh, apps that I'm running on here. Okay, here's a TV guide. And it looks the same as all my other boxes. Seems to be smooth. Now some of my boxes, it will pause when I'm scrolling through here. It will pause, but they've changed it to where it uh, doesn't pause. 
but some people complain because it is a little slow moving back and forth through channels but I've only got 80 or 90 channels so I don't have a whole lot I guess if you got two three hundreds it would be very slow now movies Okay, that's MB. Here's the HD Home Run, which is another uh, uh, DVR and uh, live TV. Uh, All those testing back negative. His sentencing is set for November 15th. Discover. Shows, movies. And yeah, this is probably the same as any other uh, Android device. It's fairly fast loading of the uh, thumbnails. Not super fast, but it is livable. But there's quite a few thumbnails that it's loading. Uh, Netflix, I showed you, YouTube. Now, YouTube should play 4K. Just like any other box based on this SOC, which is the Amlogic S905X. So they're all basically using the same thing. Okay, video. Okay, let's try that one. 60 frames per second. I'm looking for 4 to 24 frames. Go to more options. Go to nerds over here. Okay. Third line down current resolution and optimum resolution. Okay, the current is 1280 by 760 at 30 frames per second, it should be 34. So, it may be taking a little while to get up to there. Okay, it's getting there. Now, it may be a little faster when I plug in my um, Ethernet cable, but it still has not got to the maximum resolution, which it should. But again, that's only 30 frames per second. Okay, now it's at there. Okay, zero drop frames. Now this one here is a 60 frames per second. Now I want to see if it drops any frames. Okay, that's only a, that's only a 1280 video. Or 1080, excuse me. This is Ultra 4K. There we go. Must have been an advertisement. Okay, now here's 60 frames per second. Now let's see if it drops some uh, frames. If you doubt, look at the bottom, drop frames, zero so far. It is running at uh, 4K, 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160 at 60 frames per second. Now some of my other Android devices, they will drop frames at 60 frames per second. This one is not dropping at all. So the picture is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we verified that. Okay, I guess that's uh, probably all I need to show you. Live channels. Again, it works good. Uh, the view and you're going to tell me what kind of break is here. 
And oh, you'll be, you'll be surprised. Twist. It's a quiz, yeah. Okay. You'll be surprised what kind of bread is used in this wine. Okay. Oh, it's a Syrah. Oh, I was going to say that. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So just a little skin <laughs> in it to give the rosé touch. You stole my thunder. I was going to say that. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> and, Let me look at what's going on over here real quick. Well, real quick, I started okay. opening this it. This is live chat. Well, Searing a little bit of the garlic and some Pretty fresh. Of the chino, just to give a little bit of a spicy flavor to it. Yeah. Uh, some little... Oh. Okay, I guess that's it. So I would say it's a pretty good device. Uh, again, it's $70, $69. $70. So with sales tax, it come out to a little over $70. And the new uh, Xiaomi that will be coming out in a few days basically is the same thing, but it's $10 cheaper. So which ones will be the best buy? I can't say. If you like... Um, running off of uh, Ethernet, then this is the box to get. But again, right now I'm running strictly off of Wi-Fi on this box, not Ethernet. And uh, it seems to be playing 4K perfectly using a 5G wireless network. So anyway, that's what I want to show you. All right, thank you. Okay, one other thing I want to show you, since it did ask me at the beginning which of my uh, apps that I want to install on this device, using the automatic setup these are all my uh, apps and it will automatically set up for me so uh, I'll go ahead and wait till those get done and I guess I don't need to go in and add any myself uh, manually it's going to add them all it's automatically so all right I'll wait till they get all done then I'll show you